Hi everybody, welcome back to Kid Friendly Videos and thanks for coming back to watch us what we're doing here. What we're doing if you if this is your first time here is we're taking cars from Pixar cars and they're repainting them to be different cars. For example, here is Lightning McQueen. Uh, actually that was Cars 3 Lightning McQueen right there and we turned him into Primer Lightning McQueen. That was one of the first ones we did way back in September. But we also took a, a regular Lightning McQueen, an old style one, and turned him into Chester Whippa Filter. He's actually full of sand. And we even made up our own Demolition Derby car. This is the one I called Glitter Storm after Jackson Storm. It's actually Jackson Storm painted up with not the number 2.0 but 5.0. It's upside down and backwards. So we've made a lot of cars here folks in the last few months. Uh, especially our most famous series is Doc Hudson Fabulous Hudson Hornet series. We painted a whole bunch of cars to match Fabulous Hudson Hornet. Like here's Smokey with his famous colors on, red wheels. And here is um, another one of the uh, famous Jackson Storm cars with colors of Fabulous Doc Hudson. It's Fabulous Jackson Storm. And we got a whole bunch more over here, folks. We got Fabulous um, Sally, Fabulous Chick Hicks, Fabulous Cruiser Mirrors, Fabulous Sheriff, Fabulous the King, Fabulous Flo, even Fabulous Thomas the Train. And we're going to have next week, we're going to have Fabulous Red the Fire Truck. We're painting him all blue and putting Fabulous Red right here and number 51 on the door. And we're going to leave uh, pretty much everything else the same. We're going to paint it all blue though. That'll be awesome. Can't wait. And our most famous Fabulous so far is Fabulous. Miss Fritter. We took a regular Miss Fritter, painted her blue, school bus of doom. Got 30,000 views in two days. And we got a whole bunch of ore back here, folks, of um, uh, these are the zebra cars. We got zebra, um, zebra Mater, Zebra Smiles Axe Rod, a whole bunch more here. And back here is the Demolition Derby cars. If you saw cars three, all Demolition Derby cars back there. And we even have a tribute to um, Fabulous Hudson Horn. This is a uh, Dusty Moon. Disney Plains, number 51. Look, he, whew, he loves it. And we got a bunch of Demolition Derby cars, like I said, all back here. There's Sigler, there's Taco, there's a, a fair game, the taxi, you know, and there's RV. He's actually Fillmore converted over. We're taking cars and converting them into something else. Check that out. That's actually Dr. Damage. You know who it is? TJ. And here's one you won't recognize unless you saw all of our videos. That is Jimmy Jenga, and it's from. Finn Missile, hard to believe. And look at this, you won't recognize this guy. You'll know right away though. It's a Pizza Planet delivery truck. It's actually Mater. I filled in here with Play-Doh and here with Play-Doh and put a new thing on. I lost his bullet on top there, that's gone. But that's actually Mater. He's now a Pizza Planet delivery truck. And there's High Impact. That's actually Chick Hicks. And let's guess it's a fish tail or tailgate one or the other. Not sure, that's, um, oh, I forget the guy's name, he's one of the announcers. And here's Ramon as Liberty? Li liability, that's right. I'm, I'm losing all the names, guys. I forget them all. One of my favorites is Pushover right there. But anyway, I'm going to skip all that hit and run right there and um, boost and a whole bunch more. Anyway, I got a bunch of requests, guys, from people. And I want to show you what I got requests for. Request for Flipped Over. I don't know who that is. And I got um, Cam Spinner, Aaron Clocker, Bubble Wheelhouse. I'm going to probably get those four done in the next few days, actually, except for Saturday. And I um, don't want to do that yet. I, I got my heart sped on doing Cam Spinner today because I got a lot of requests for Cam for a long time. It's soft blue and got 31 on the side, and it's kind of a white spoiler. And they look a little different. Watch the pictures here. This is one version of the picture. I don't have the real car. And there's the other version, see? So I'm just going to try and do the best I can to get the color right. And what I was going to do. Uh, where's my car going? I'm going to use Dynaco Cruiser Mirrors as the next gen car for Cam Spinner. It's quite a bit the same. I'm going to cover the smile over completely and put slits for headlights this way and put some white on the angel hood. Number 31 here on the roof and I can't write any on the back. I'll just leave the color white. And number 31 on the doors and I have to paint the wheels black because the wheels are black in this car. So let's let's get started. Let's get the paint out and put a first fresh coat of primer on Dynaco Cruiser Mirrors and turn it into Primer Cruise. Made a lot of stock cars already. There's Cal Weathers, and I forget the names of all these guys. Uh, Harvey Rodcap, but that was really good, but uh, it kind of flopped today. The views came out, but there are hardly any views on it. So whatever happened to it, watch it again or something for me. There's uh, Tim Treadless at that today, and a few more. That's actually the um, fabulous Light of the Queen. Anyway, I got a lot of few, that's one, two, three, four, five, six of them done now. So keep the ideas coming, folks, and I'll do the best I can. Here's the uh, paint thing. I'm just gonna put that over the cars. And then I can put the uh, primer right in there. Get the same spot every time. Get a nice little brush here. And I have to do the wheels anyway, so I don't care if I get any paint on the wheels because I have to paint the wheels and the tires black. 
because of their black wall inside for for Cam Spinner. I, I don't know who Cam Spinner is. He's in Cars 3. I guess he's probably in the race. I didn't uh, get to see a lot of the cars in the race. I was too busy watching the movie. I don't know. Unless you guys watched it more and more. I watched it two and a half times so far. So I still didn't know who Cal Weathers was. Never thought I was lying. Apparently he's Lightning Friends. See, there you go. I guess I was too busy eating popcorn or something to pay attention to it. But I did see a lot of the movie. I liked the movie. If you liked the movie, hit the like button down there and leave a comment. Which is your favorite? Cars 1, 2, or 3? Some of you guys have already replied to that question. I often say the same things over and over again in videos because, believe it or not, most of my viewers don't come from subscribers. They come from people that just happen to land here and say, what the heck is going on here? Some guy's painting all the Pixar cars and they have no clue what's going on. So they start watching and say, oh, I got an idea. I'll send him this suggestion. And a lot of times they take the suggestions. Like I'm doing this one here. I never heard of Cam Spinner before. I thought that was a mistake. I said, Cam Spinner? I know what a camshaft is, but anyway, I guess that's the name of a car. And Cars 3, I, I Googled it, and sure enough, up came his picture. And it didn't have a perfect picture of the car in a box, so I'm kind of guessing here as I go along. I don't have a picture of the back, but I will put his red taillights back on. Paint the spoiler. I can't wait to paint the blue. It's a really cool blue. It's like a soft blue. A lot of blue cars in these series, I noticed lately. And put the number 30, is it 31 on top, or no? Yes, number 31 on top. All I got is the picture of the car to go by, and the pictures aren't that good. And I think I have to paint the windows black, guys, because uh, um, I got some overspray on the windows from previous. This is an older Cruiser Mirrors, believe it or not. It's been around the bench for quite some time, and it got lots of paint all over it, so I don't mind painting them. Hurry me. Turn them into a cam spinner. No one knows the difference with the car. I never heard of it before, but it must be one of the cars. Unless it's a trainer. Maybe it's a trainer. I don't know. Well, there you go, folks. It's almost done. If I get along the edge here, a little bit better. I'll hide that. There we go. And I'll get inside the spoiler on the bottom. Completely cover this up. And again, thanks you guys for joining us every day to watch the videos. I know a lot of you guys are just see it every day. It's uploaded around the exact same time. And they come back and watch the whole thing and leave a comment, a like, and uh, a request. A lot of you guys get to know your name here there quite a bit. So I really appreciate that. And it uh, makes me feel like I'm doing something positive here. That's great. Oh, oh fingerprints. Okay, let's leave this dry now. We'll come back in a few minutes with a nice coat of blue on it. This is Primer Cruiser Mirrors for the third, fourth, or fifth time. At first, I wasn't sure whether to use Jeff Gorvet for Cam Spinner, but the front's completely different. This is the next. This is an old version and not, not a new gen. And Octane Gain kind of looks like him, actually, even though he's not new generation, next gen. See, he looks a bit like him. I almost did it, but he's got two back windows back there. And the spoiler is different. See, it kind of flips up on this one here, and that's actually attached. So I didn't do that one. And I just happened to find um, Rod Red Rod Torque Line back there, and I was looking and smashed up Rod Torque Line. And somebody sent me a picture. They want me to do uh, where is it? Pat Traxon. Check out Pat Traxon. Look at it. It's almost the same car. Uh, not the smashed up one. Put that aside. But look, I may be able to do Pat Traxon as that car. See, it's like a police car, official pace car. Oh, it's a pace car. I can do that white. The red uh, thing in the front, I don't have an emblem I can put there, I can't draw that. And stir, as far as checkered flag goes, good luck. Might be able to write something on the back, but maybe maybe nothing. But anyway, that's a good car for that. We'll put that aside for another day. Now the Pat Traxon. Never heard of it? But the pace car in the car movie, I guess. There it is there again. Cool. Okay, we'll come right back now with the car, and we're all set to put the first coat of blue on it. The car's good and dry, it's been over in the heat lamp for quite some time. And it definitely needs two coats, and this is just the right color. Perfect. And I, if I, I don't care if I get paint on the tire, I'm painting them black anyway. They have to be both paint. I mean, all four tires have to be painted black and wheels. They're perfect. Oh, I got some paint on his eyes by mistake there. Okay, no problem. I'm looking to put that, I guess. So hard to get off. It dries so fast. And it's acrylic paint. It's only cheap dollar store paint. Once it dries on there, good luck getting it off. And I might actually scrape the eyes underneath that. So I don't want to touch it. I'll leave it alone for now. Maybe clean it up later. Looks good. But I think I have to do the back the windows in black because I got lots of paint on the windows already all over the place. Plus the overspray from when I used to spray paint the cars with a spray bomb is everywhere down here still. It was fun while it lasted, but it made a lot of mess. Okay, there we go. Flip it over. Car's half done already. First coat. Um, I'm going to actually probably leave the spoiler because it's a kind of a white color. Unless I forget and do it. Okay. There we go. And the eyes and this are pretty good. They're straight across. I don't have to worry about the bump here. Cover that right out. It's a straight line. Yeah. Okay, good. And now the rest of the roof in the back. Oh, yeah, I forgot the whole side over here. Okay. 
okay this is in the first coat like I said it would definitely take two coats and again thanks guys for watching all the videos I'm gonna keep saying that because some people skip ahead and get to the end I can tell that from the analytics they show me what part of the video you like what part you didn't like so I'm just trying to make a video guys I'm not trying to change the world just trying to paint the cars and encourage you guys to do the same I know a lot of guys are doing it now one guy sent me a picture of his car it was perfect and I wish you could send a link and put it up there on my screen on my channel I mean to show everybody people are doing it more and more people it gets the use out of them guys if your car is just sitting in a box and you're bored and just grab the, the dollar store paint or anything at all you can probably make your own paint with instructions online who knows and um, start playing with them and it's fun okay there you go there's a whole car oh, I did paint this by mistake actually okay we're just gonna try and get in here and I'll have to paint it with black to, around the windows and then I'll fix that up later because I will need to touch it up again okay let's set that aside with the second coat on then we'll then we'll see how it looks okay we're back guys uh, the first coat came pretty good look I made a special brush for later I cut most of the bristles off I'm gonna try and use that to um, paint the numbers maybe it'll make it a little better this time because I'm having a hard job doing that okay let's start oh look what I did Wrong okay color. we'll try that again that was going on pretty nice actually that nice primer gray on top of that beautiful blue okay let's cover this up I have to put an extra coat on that part where I screwed it up okay we'll finish the second coat then we'll put the black on the tires and we'll work on the rest of the stuff the white and the spoiler and the eyes I mean the headlights and this not a smile but there's a kind of a, a black line across the front we'll work on that too yeah it's gonna look pretty nice well anyway that paint goes a long way I've been only, I've only went through one bottle of paint and of all these cars I painted in the last few months and it was a primer gray I used primer gray up because I put a, a coat of primer gray on every car I paint to bring out the colors it kind of like covers up the old if you're ever gonna paint a car like in a store you'd always paint the primer first to coat the paint that way the new color goes on and it's nice the colors better especially when you're changing the color the primer gray is probably a great base for it all the colors go on really nice I guess the base goes different different colors too but I'm pretty happy with the gray I'm using here might be a few people watching this and know how to paint cars you gotta be careful okay there I got my finger on the other side right in the paint look see that lucky it washes right off I go upstairs between coats and go to the sink and clean my hands up and we're all set to go for the next coat Paint that spoiler white and the windows black. Perfect. Get a lot of paint on the thing there. Make it to top it up. Might make it. There we go. Oops. Okay, see so if I can touch up right by fingers in right back here. Yeah, once this dries, I'll put the um, I'll put the black on the windows and the tires and wheels, get them all finished. Okay. I just had enough guys. There, there's a beautiful blue coat. Matches perfect to Cam Spinner. Check it out. Okay, and when I come back, I'll do the wheels and the windows. And we have to touch up the blue again where I did the windows, and we'll see how that looks. This is the same car I printed off. You square two different cars. 31, 31. Look at the front. It's just got uh, white on the, on the engine hood. On here it says triple dent. And on this car, this here bolt lightly bolts down to the bottom here. On here, it's kind of like nothing. It just sparkles here. So that's the one I might be making because it's going to be easier. I'm putting 31 on the door and the roof. And I'm just going to paint the spoiler a little bit off white. It kind of looks gray. So I'm going to put the taillights back on red. So let's get the wheels and tires done next and the windows. Okay guys, the um, blue paint is dry and it's beautiful. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my little brush. I'm going to paint the windows black and the tires and wheels. i got this real fancy small little brush here. I practiced on the eyes and I fixed up the white on the eyes. I'm going to try and get paint only on the window and not on the car which would be great for me because I'm usually getting it all over the car again when I'm touching up the windows I have to repaint the blue again so I'm gonna I only got about five bristles left on this brush I cut most of them off I tried using the toothpick last night but didn't have much luck with it to paint somebody recommended that was a good idea and it was a good idea but I, I did a little bit of it but I probably would have been better off just sticking with the brush with no Hardly any bristles in it. I should have thought of this before. Well, that came perfect, guys. Not even any touch up necessary. Now, the back window here, that's going to be easier because it's bigger. I can go right along the top and the outside and then fill in the inside easier. Without making a mess. Beautiful. This, this car's been sitting for a while outside here in the, uh, on the 
deck on the desk, I mean, and I got all kinds of overspray on it. So we're not worried about that anymore. We're gonna be all completely painted. In a second, I have those tires and wheels too. All black for this car, cam spinner. Okay, that wow, that's nice. Now, two out of three. See if I can finish off the third window without making a mess. Well, not too bad. Could be worse. I can just ignore that. Good, good. I'm gonna change brushes for the tires because I need a bigger brush for the tires and wheels. This is just for intricate work. I checked it out first around the eyes. I filled in where I made a bit of a mess with the white. Wow, beautiful, nice. Now I'm gonna get a bigger brush for the wheels and I'm just gonna do each one like I always do. I hold the car and spin the wheel so it gets all nice and black. Here goes, tire and wheel. Then I can go back and do the eyes and it's kind of a grill, I'm not quite sure what you call it. Nice, okay, now the back one, okay. It's not going on as thick as I hoped, but it's going on pretty good. And I, I always check now to see if the camera's running, I have to stop and look because a few times I've been talking to myself for about five minutes not recording. Wow, nice, okay. That's halfway done. Now if I can get the other two. Well, oh, there's a bit of black on the window. I have to touch that up a blue. Okay, here goes the front wheel. Just do this here first and then run around the outside. Wow, well, came pretty good, guys. Look, this is going to be perfect in the thumbnail. One guy sent me a message that the picture in the thumbnail for the car I made, Tim Treadles, look like the real car. That's a pretty good compliment. And it's not even close. Wow. Oh, I got some black on the roof. Darn it. Okay, I'll touch that up right now while they're drying. I'm gonna touch, touch it right now. I got some blue left over right here. Put some black on that. And here. And then when I come back, I'm going to paint the headlights on and the grill and maybe some white stuff on the back. Okay, guys, it's all nice and dry. It came pretty good. And I'm dealing with a little problem here. I don't know what to do. I got two different designs here for eyes. There's even a gas cap on that one, and there's no gas cap on this one. It's just like white dots or stars. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my brand new brush and I'm gonna paint on some nice, really, really squinty eyes. This car, one thing we're sure it has, very squinty eyes across the front. I'll show you what I mean. Just lines almost in the white. They're really dull right here. Nice, and it kind of has a, like a black line between them. So I'm gonna put a little tiny black, like almost a black little grill across the front here. I don't know what that's supposed to be, just a grill, I guess. And there's no smile at all on this guy. And it uses um, some white on the engine hood. So I'm just gonna kind of smear it around a bit, like a smear of white here. And a smear of white here. And some more white in the middle. And I can't write that name triple dent in it, whatever that's supposed to mean. Now, the, the spoiler on this car is white. On one car, I'm going to go with white because I think that would be pretty cool on the back of this thing. A white spoiler. All white, not underneath, just the top that shows. It's going to be pretty cool. And um, I could probably try and write triple dent on it, but it might exceed my capability to write small letters on that. But I'll give it a try. It's in and blue letters too, so I might have some fun with that. Okay, and number 31 goes on the hood and on the doors. I can do that right now while this is still still warm, actually. Can spin it. Well, take the shape, guys. Okay, and get my little fancy paintbrush, one with no bristles. And I'm gonna, I think there's black on that. Hang on a sec. There, okay, then I'm gonna write 31 on the engine hood, I mean on the roof, with this brand new brush in big letters, big numbers, I mean. This brush works a lot better, guys. I made my own. It's better than a toothpick. I just cut all the, the bristles off it. Okay, and 31 on the door. It's a big number. Big on the door. And I'll put some spots in later. Okay, 
Okay, that came perfect. And the other side. I, should, I keep saying perfect even though it's not perfect, but you know what I mean. And I'll need some red tail lights. Use the same brush as rinse it out. Nice, bright, huge red lights on the back. Great. Now let's leave that dry before I try anything else. So now I'm going to try and write triple dent in blue letters on the back. Spoiler. Okay, see how that goes. Triple dent. You can hardly read it, but it's there. Okay, now on the side, they have kind of like a, 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 a kind of like spots or stars and white all over it. So if I just put some um, white spots on the back, it looked like stars. And we'll smear it out a bit with the, with the paint. And it's kind of like, um, I'm not sure what it is, folks. It's kind of like white stars on it. And it's kind of like blurred along here. I don't know what that's supposed to be, and they kind of came down from the front on one picture with with uh, the paint. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to mess it up too much. And there's white spots back here, and a little blur. It's kind of nice. And there's not much more I can do to this guy. I got some. You see, I got some blue, some white on the blue. So I have to take that out right now here, and somewhere else too. I forget where it was. I got some black on my fender. See it? Cover that up. Perfect. Well, I think that's about it. There's not much more I can do, guys. I got the triple dent on the back, 31 on the hood and the doors, and I got the headlights on. I don't know what else I can do with them. Um, I wish I could do something to make them look sportier. I think it's gonna try and put a little bit of a black line on them, on the headlights to see if that makes a little difference because it kind of looks kind of different. I don't want to ruin it. it looks kind of good, so I don't want to take a chance. There. Let's call that cam spinner. Clean it up and have a look at it, folks. It looks like we're done. Well, there you have it, folks. There's cam spinner. There's a picture of them right there. It's as close as I can get. Uh, I don't have the die cast. I wish I did. And uh, I got the triple dent in the back. The numbers on the doors. Smeared paint, black wheels. It doesn't look too bad, and um, I hope you like it. Whoever requested it, thanks very much. I appreciate it. It came out uh, not too bad, actually. And um, there's the rest of the cars I did the last few weeks there. Treadless and Tim Treadless and the rest of the guys there. But anyway, let's uh, keep sending your suggestions and your ideas and your thoughts, and maybe we can get some more done at the weekend on doing red. So stay tuned for Saturday for fabulous red. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.